everybody. Welcome back to my 30 Days to Die series. This is the uh, sorry, the evening of day 19. So a couple of days have passed, basically. Day 18 and day 19 have passed. I apologize. Uh, I uploaded episode or day 15 before I, up I uploaded day 14, I believe. And I apologize for that. Uh, but yes, we are two days ahead and there is no episodes in between these two. What I did is I spent a couple of days just working on the base and just collecting resources. That's all I did. Um, I built a couple things and that was about it. Uh, as you can see down here, uh, uh, these wood now all the way around the outside has been upgraded. They're brick on the bottom layer, which gives us a um, double layer of brick around the bottom of the base here. Uh, I'm going to go outside and show you the other stuff that I've done in a second, but let's just take stock of what, what's going on in here. So if you go to my inventory, you'll notice now I've got a uh, iron spiked reinforced club. So we got 27 melee damage now, so I was able to make that schematic. So we've got a little bit better melee damage, which is great. Um, and what else do we have here? We've got a lot of resources to make some stuff here. We need to make a crucible. Uh, I want to go out and I want to make some more um, gunpowder. So we're going to go do that, which is why I've got this already set up. So we need to make a crucible, and I believe we need to make it in... Is it in here? Yes, we do. No, it's a workbench. Sorry. Well, that's better. Don't have to spend any wood to f make this damn thing. All right, so crucible. So this thing is going to give us the ability to make um, steel, which is going to be awesome. So we're going to go ahead and craft one of these guys. Now, i got got 100 more uh, wood spike traps here ready to go. I started on getting the, the horde base, as you can see here. i got a lot of materials. Um, to uh, build a horde base. Got a few rebar frames already set out. We're just going to put the spike traps in here for now. Um, so yeah, I got a bunch of stuff already set out here. Uh, 64 rebar frames is not going to be enough for what I want to do. We're going to need like a couple of hundred just to get started. So let's go ahead and craft some more. Uh, yeah, this has been going for quite a while. You notice we got lots of iron in here. So let's go to the rebar frames and let's get probably another 150 probably at least we're going to need at least that many um yeah at least that many for sure okay so it, it is the night but i'm not really concerned about that right now so let's go down uh i want to show you what i've done to the base here so uh the main building we've got the upgraded wood um, all the way around here and up here a couple of levels I mean the zombies probably won't get up this high but I decided to, to uh, do that anyway and we've put the level of brick across here now it's concrete just under here uh, but I just put it up to brick for now because we need the concrete for the back knocked out a bit of this around the outside just to give it a bit more reinforcement I'm gonna take all this out eventually and I'll probably do that in the nighttime between episodes uh, and then just fortify this a little more because we're going to be putting a back door going out this way um, at our horde base height so we can go out and come back in if we have to during the horde night. Um, hearing a zombie outside. Not like they're going to get in here. Uh, okay, so you'll notice here they've got two levels of concrete up plus the brick at the top. So if they break through, they've got a lot to break through to get to us. So I'm not worried about that. Our plants are actually growing okay. So you'll notice around the outside here, the first two levels of this are now that I think was a screamer. Could have been a zombie. I don't know. Probably a zombie. They're still alive. Uh, so there's two layers of brick all the way around now. Uh, and that goes all the way around the building. So you can tell I got a whole bunch of cobblestone. Um, yeah, it goes all the way around. The corners are reinforced. Uh, I'm planning on taking all this iron bar out and all these wood spikes because they're just in the way. And at some point, I'll probably take all the grass out. So if we end up down in here and we're meleeing, uh, we're not hitting grass instead of the enemy. So this will all be lawn mowered at some point. And I'll probably dig up the rest of these graves to see if we can find some more ammo. Um, yeah, but that's kind of what's been done here. Uh, all the way around, I've bricked in the entire front here, did some reinforcement on the wood, reinforced those bars. We might make a pathway out here and a ledge out here so we can shoot from above. Uh, that's a possibility. Um, but I don't, I'm hoping we don't have to use this as the uh, backup horde base. Um, but we're going to run a platform out from here. 
three wide. So between these two lights, we're going to run it straight across and outside into the back. And that will be up at least that height, probably up there. So if the zombies do come and they're jumping, they can't actually hit the, the, the block up there. Uh, so it'll run out and across. Um, it'll be three wide. We'll have a couple of good concrete pillars here. I'm only planning on making that wood going across, but it'll be reinforced wood, maybe iron, I don't know, just in case there's cops out there spitting at us. But it's just basically to get behind this wall, and I'm going to re-fortify all this at the same time, and then I'm going to drop a ton of spikes back here. Zombies out there killing themselves. They can hear me in here talking, that's what it is. Hear them? Anyway, uh, so that being said, so yeah, there'll be uh, concrete uh, pillars down here, um, reinforced concrete so they can't knock them down easily enough. So we can just run in here and I'll set up a little uh, secondary platform in here that we can fight the zombies and hopefully at that point we can just finish them up. Uh, that's if they do get through. And this will all be concrete too. Uh, we're going to have to find a way for them to kind of get into here. Um, because they might end up running around the whole building. If they do, they'll just run into spikes. But I mean, we'll be like here until they can come in. And then once they break through, then we'll they'll have to, all these spikes to contend with. And then uh, we'll be shooting at them the whole time. So we should be able to finish them up. Um, yeah, so that's that. And what I'll do... Go check the front here. Got to fix all those. What I want to do today is lay down the foundation. Yeah, they're... You can see it's a little wider out here now. Just if a wandering horde does show up, you know, if they've got cops or whatever with them, they're just going to smash into here and die. Uh, but this has all been reinforced, with the exception of the roof. So it's a little tougher if they if they do decide to break through. I have to upgrade this door still, but we have iron reinforced doors up here, which I'll be putting on eventually. Uh, where are they? Uh, in here? Yeah, we got three iron iron doors so we're going to be putting one at the one at the front just underneath us with concrete one over there with concrete um and i'll probably knock out those that bits of wood over there so they can't actually get up to it and then i'll have one at the back here to go out to the horde base um that one might not be iron reinforced i don't know yet but we'll see but at least the ones here will be okay uh how's our concrete doing another 500 made so we're really getting up and running here so let's see what we got going on in here 150 is done so we're gonna do that today so there's okay there's a hundred actually let's make this 200 I don't think we'll get through 200 rebar frames today but we might so let's bring out 200 concrete like, we're going to save this for the main base. We don't really need to use that for any, anything else. i got to get more sand for sure to, more, to make more concrete. But, I mean, we got tons of cement. I'm not really worried about that. We're going to have so much cement. Like, look at this. So, let's make some more here. That's what this is for. Just making cement. That's all that thing is going to do is just make cement. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, this is our... For making our bullet casings which we'll do soon enough all right so first thing first this morning once we get the morning up we will head over and get our gunpowder started and then we're going to come back and work on the horde base um i want to kind of go down and try and hit up the uh i don't know if we'll get to it today it might have to be tomorrow but um i want to go down and hit up let's have a look at the map here down here at the end of the street right here is it? Yeah, right here. Sorry. This is um, the pawn shop. So I want to go in there and see if we can find any beakers. Uh, I don't know if we will. We might. Um, we need beakers. I, I, I mean, that's really about it. We need beakers. So, uh, yeah. As you can see, though, with the iron, the amount of iron we have in here, I hit a ton of boulders. Right? So that's where all this came from. I didn't really do any mining for this. It all came off boulders. So, um, yeah. So you can see... I mean, there's our wood, stone, most of the stone I put in here, right? So I, we got so much stuff. All right, so yeah, all right, we'll be back when, like, two hours in game time when um, we're ready to move around in the daytime again. All right, guys, welcome back. It is now the morning. There we go. And you can see I did a little bit of work here. So, yeah, we got 
a ramp up here built now, and I apologize for the lag. Computer's been laggy lately, I have no idea why. So if we come out here, you can see now that we have built a walkway all the way out here. Now the only thing I haven't done, which I should do right now, is we're sitting on rebar frames. So let's go ahead, upgrading this to concrete. All right. And this lag is like really bad. So I'm going to pause right after this and I'm going to restart and I'll be right back. All right, well, after a full restart, it's still a little laggy. Uh, could just be the heat up here. I got to turn my AC off every time I record because it's so loud. All right, well, let's go out here. We want to go start putting our... Uh, oh, we got two frames left, eh? Eh, a couple more. Um, we want to start putting our gunpowder down. And yeah, let's do some repairs out here, I think, too. Get these out of here. We can do a couple of quick repairs. We will. Yeah, I heard a couple of other zombies, but doesn't seem to be that much damage out here. Yeah, except for maybe this rabbit. Sorry, buddy. But we won't let you go to waste. Don't worry. I'll have some rabbit stew tonight. All right, let's get this hammer back. All right, we're looking okay, I think, for the most part. I didn't hear anybody on the other side of the base. Yep, pretty quiet. All right, let's get... Yeah, we're laggy here. This is crazy. It should be interesting when we get into a fight, that's for sure. So we're going to go over... I'd love to be able to say, oh, no, it's just because my hard drive's full. But that's not the case. It's completely empty. Now, I don't know if these guys have respawned back over here yet. I wish there was a way you could have, like, a really resource-intensive um, block. What's up, buddy? That you, you could use to stop mobs from spawning in a certain area. I know we've got the um, got the land claim block but I mean you should be able to make minor blocks that just stop mobs from respawning in a certain area but have them really really resource intensive. No we got respawns. Hooray for that. I don't really care about the zombies. I'm more worried about the damn birds. I hope we're crying out loud. Yeah, you spotted me. You bring it. Come on. Oh. And he's in the middle of next week and the rest of the birds spawned up. Great. Hooray for that. He's two for two. One more coming in. Uh, we got guys behind us now too. Come on, buddy. Bring it. And he flew away. He's coming back though. At the worst time. Here he comes. Nope. Oh, you... There we go. Ooh. Oh, two for two. I can't go three for three, can I? Not against this guy. Stay down. Oh, we got more people showing up here, too. Ooh, no stamina. Good thing she's slow. There you go. Ooh, thank you. Thank you very much. Level 52. I'm really interested to see what our game stage will be when this Horde Knight shows up. I haven't seen irradiated zombies yet, but it is only day 20. We're only two-thirds of the way there to insanity. So we got the four birds. I'm not even going to bother stripping them. 
We got so many arrows. The garbage won't respawn for a while. All right, let's get this going. This is why I want to get a still. I don't want to have to come back here and do this all the time. Uh, 61 wood, I think, is going to be plenty. 12, 15. Wow, that's like way too much wood. That should do it. There it is, folks. And let's find this other zombie. I didn't even search this one, really? Take them 11 feathers. Still working on stone arrows here. I haven't upgraded or anything. Where is the guy? Was it you? Could be. Sup? Oh. Oh. Well, you needed clay. Oh, it's a crawler. Let's just put you out of your misery, buddy. Spike club for the win. We didn't get this one either. Nice. Okay, let's get back and start dropping those rebar frames down. I was going to make it a 5x5, five five, but now since... The stupid building, I thought it was an, I thought there was three blocks across, but it's really only two across to make it look even. And I, I have a hard time with it not looking even. You know what this is? I just realized what this is. Let's go to options, video, quality. I got the gamma up to 100, just so you guys can see. Uh, let's turn this down a bit here. Um... Yeah. Let's just do that. Um, uh, nope. I turned it up when I was playing solo earlier and it was nice and smooth and it had no problems. Why is it so chuggy? Could be all those trees, perhaps, maybe. Shadows? Light rays? I don't know. Seems to be fine here, though. Alright, let's get our rebar frames out. We're going to build a 6x6. Six six. i want—I got to make sure I do this right, because I don't want to have to redo this. So we're coming out there. Right, so we need... 1, 2, 3, 4... Five. I need one more row this way. God, thank God for steel to or uh, iron tools. Can you imagine doing this with a stone shovel? Okay, so um, my idea for the horde base is built on a couple of other people's ideas. Come on, I'm right, not that tired. Let's go. But I'm going to have a 6x6 framed building here. thought that was a crawler for a second. You know what? I think I might just turn shadows. Ah, you know what? I hate playing games when you can't have maximum quality textures. It's just, I don't know. I'm kind of bad that way. All right, so that's 36. It's a little more than I thought it was going to be, but we got tons of materials. Okay, so my idea, and I don't know if this is going to work or not. I have no idea, but it's going to be, it's like we got a six block here. It's going to go up four blocks of solid concrete all the way through to the center, right? So we're going to have, this is the floor. Then we're going to have four more blocks up of all solid concrete. That's going to be our main floor above. No, we need five blocks high, sorry. Because if the zombies come in here, they break the top block. Let's say they break the top two blocks and get in. They'll be breaking block four below us. We want to have one more row. So we need five blocks high. That's the floor we're standing on. So five times 36 is 100, 210? 210? So we need 210 more rebar frames to fill this out. And that'll be our base. And then what we're going to do is we're going to build a basically a, uh, um, uh, what do you want to call it, a uh, bunker up there 
where we're going to have only the front open and a door at the back. And we're going to have a ladder from there up to the roof. And on the roof is going to be a shark cage that overhangs slightly so we can see down. And I'm going to basically, I'm going to remove all this and I'll be filling this with uh, reinforced concrete as well. This is all going to be steel spikes around here um, and steel spikes at the front. And because the front is open, we're going to build a ramp up so that they, the zombies, they can think they can jump and get to me. And right there, the open part is going to be iron bars looking straight out at them. Um, if I can get this to front of this part here to reinforce steel and part of the ramp to reinforce steel, I will do that. But I don't know if that's going to work. And then on the outskirts, my plan is to go as many wooden spikes thick as I possibly can on the outside, right? With one row all the way around of barbed wire. And then on the inside, two more spike rows all the way around. And then on the inside of that, one more layer of barbed wire. So the idea is if they don't all, if they don't, if they decide not to come from the front, if they, if they somehow come from the sides, I've got the shark cage on top, which is going to be basically cage all the way around with, except for the corners, which are going to be concrete. Um, and what that will be is we can then come out and as they break through the spikes on the outside, we can shoot them when they hit the barbed wire. Once they get through the first round of barbed wire, um, I'll probably start to ignore those guys, let them go through the spikes while I shoot the other guys going through the barbed wire. And then once they hit the second row of barbed wire, I'll start retargeting those first guys again if they're not already dead and finish them up before they get through to get to the base. And then the base will have the iron spikes. I'm just going to use wood on the outside. I'm probably going to have to knock that down too, which is going to be a real pain. But uh, I'll have wood spikes on the outside, barbed wire, wood spikes, barbed wire, maybe another row of wood spikes, I don't know, but then up against the wall here will all be iron. The ramp. Uh, once they come up, there's going to be a flat platform with barbed wire in it, so it'll slow them down, give me a chance to shoot them. Um, I'd like to get some dart traps and stuff in, but I don't know if this particular round through is going to be feasible. Day 60, if we go that far, I don't know if I will, but if we go to day 60, that will definitely probably be feasible to get dart traps and electricity traps and stuff. If I can get them in for this round, I will. I just, I don't want to um, figure I can do it and then not be able to make that. So I'm going to work with what I know I can get done first. And then if we can add stuff afterwards, that's what we're going to do. All right, we got an interloper here. Stop bothering me. Oh, we got a wandering horde? Perhaps. Oh, well, we do. You and your buddies can just stay the hell away from my base, man. I just finished putting this up. Guys, really? I, 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 no, 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 go away. I think I put more skills in a boom headshot too. I can't remember. I know I put some skill points in because I got, I think I got like three or four levels the last, uh, between episodes there. Um, just from harvesting resources. So, I mean, if you want to just get, if you want to get levels, I mean, one of the ways you could do it is rather than going killing zombies, you can just, like, harvest resources. I mean, it's not the optimal way to get levels, obviously, but if you're short on supplies and you need to build a horde base fast, like, uh, for instance, um, I've been trying to hone my first seven days. I've been playing a couple of games where I just play up to day seven just to see how much materials I can collect and have to be able to repel a day seven horde. Because like I, like I said, I'm not, I, I have yet to face a real horde in this game. This will probably be my first real horde. Because um, like I said, I like the building, I like the, the resource collecting, I like the exploring. If I had to like fight a horde every day. Oh, for, oh yeah, no, we can't have you. Cannot have you here. So this is the screamer, guys. If you haven't experienced the screamer before. I could have left her alone, but... Crap, she screamed. Here they come. Oh, we got a feral. Right here. You're better off staying down. Let's get them over here. Good thing it's during the day. I don't see really that many more. There's one over there. That's three. 
Stay down, buddy. Stay down. Three stones. There's another one. Stay the fuck away from my base, guys. I just put this thing together. Concrete hasn't even set yet, man. That's it? Nope. More around this way. She spawned in my side my walls. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Fuck you. All quiet in the western front. That's why I want to have my land claim block a little further. Just needed like four more blocks or something. Alright, let's get back to finishing this. Next time we'll let her die on the spikes. So the bottom layer is almost dry. I'm going to stealth this now when I do this. Not that it matters, because it's like 100% visibility anyway. Alright, that's that row. And once we get these, this row in, uh, we'll be able to just come out here. I'm going to build the, finish building the ramp out as well. We'll just be able to come out here that way, build it, and then go back inside without having to worry about mobs. So, um, if we do get guys come in at night or whatever, we can come out here and work at night time. So I just, I'm just actually stealthing because it just reduces the amount of sound. Doesn't reduce my visibility though. Okay. I hear a moaner out there somewhere. Okay, maybe not. All right, so right here. That's going to be one, two, three. That's five. We're not coming back down here. We're going to go inside. get some more resources started. Now I made it four high on the inside. Make it four high here. Uh, but I think Just in case we get spitting cops or God knows what else. Can I reach that? I don't think I can. Okay, can we? We can. Nice. Now that might be too wide for con. I don't know if that's wide enough, too wide for concrete. Let's find out. No, I think we're good. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. So let's get these last few down here so we can kind of get up and down. So like I said, this is all going to be solid. I think I used one on it. Yeah, I did. Um, this is all going to be solid up to this level. So this is going to be where we're shooting out at the zombies up the ramp and up on top even higher than this we'll be shooting down. I don't like being shooting down at zombies, I like shooting straight into them. So if you miss one you might hit another one, but if you're shooting down it's a lot, a lot harder for that to happen. So now we've got our way out of here. 
This is all going to get filled in with concrete too, by the way, just in case they somehow get across that bridge. It's unlikely, but we might get spawners on the bridge. Who knows? All right, let's get some more rebar frames. Let's make another 150, I think. Um, where are you here? Rebar frames, 150. We got wood here, we do. Don't know how much we're going to need, 230. That's plenty of time. All right, how's this going over here? Still going. We're going to have a lot of concrete. I need sand though. God, that's one of the things we need to go get. Okay, so let's grab... Uh, don't know how much more we're going to need. Let's grab the rebar. How are we doing here? There's another row. So let's go back out. Get that working. I'm really interested to see how this fa like fares against the horde. I have no idea. I've watched so many videos of people fending off the hordes in different like POIs and stuff. Love watching Glock 9. I don't know how he does what he does and tries to stay calm. Or these guys that kind of just go out at nighttime. Games for Kicks does it. Creeping around at night. I'm like, okay. Get that, but like I panic. Friggin' PTSD gets you every time. Having stupid panic attacks because ones and zeros, fictional zombies are attacking you. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. I guess the part of it is is like you know, you work so hard trying to get something up and running, and then if they destroy it all, you're like, ah, wasted all that time. I mean it's a learning experience, but still it's like you just feel like you wasted time. Okay, this is going to be a crazy base. Uh, you know what? They're not taking this building down. If we get a massive horde of irradiated zombies, maybe. And then I'm going to make... For the next... We've got another level already. I'm going to make a kill chamber. For the day 60 horde. If we go that far. I'm going to try to go that far. But Alpha 18 might come out. I don't know if it's going to break saves. If it does, I'll just start over in that one. But... Um, I want to make a kill chamber out here. So rather than the ramp, they come up into a into a kill chamber that's got just like spike traps. Um, sorry, not spike traps. Uh, barbed wire to slow them down, but dart traps on both sides. It just shoots at them the whole time. And electri electrical wires all the way through it. It's going to have to be fairly wide, at least as wide as this, so that when they come up there, they're just going to get all shredded. I want to get some blade traps, probably put them all down around here, just so they don't attack the sides of the base. But uh, yeah, that'll be for day 60, if we can get that far. Um, I got a feeling this base will hold up just fine against this first horde. I mean, we've had plenty, like, like plenty of time to prepare, right? Most gamers have been through, would have been through four hordes already by this point. Or not this point, but there's the other 114. All right, let's go back out there. Oh, you know what we need? Uh, I need, let's see... Two, four, eight. I need eight. Um, I need eight of. Where are you here? I need eight of this. Let's craft those. I think that's all I need. I don't need the pillars. Wait, that's an inside corner. I wanted the ramps. Damn it. Well, we'll use the inside corners. Now that we got them, we might as well use them. They got the same uh, durability as everything else, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's get the flat part of this done. So you can see the concrete's already dried in the bottom two levels. Okay, that's those. And now we've got to get rid of these guys. We're not going to see these anyway, so that's the reason why I'm putting them on the corner here. It won't aesthetically ruin our building. Okay. 
That way we don't waste the rebar. Okay, now we go frames across here. And you can see that just hides that now. I thought about making this the cage, but I think I want a, a, a roof platform. Uh, yes, because we need to put the door on one side. Like that. Well, yeah, we these are exposed, but no big deal. This is going to be iron bars across here. Uh, we should have a come out one though. The bar should come out one, which means, yeah. So let's. Um, what the? Oh, there we go. Can't see where that's going. That's it there. Okay, and then we want to put you. Ah, crap. Do I want to do this here? Yeah, I think so. Okay, here's my thought, because we need we need to extend the cage out above us. So we need to have reinforcement for that. So if cops are spitting, right, this will be a cage across here. Right, bars across here, concrete corners to support it. Yeah, I think that's probably going to work. I say probably because I have no clue. Probably in a hopeful tone. There we go. Right. Okay. I really hope this works. Yeah, that looks like st stupid hell, but whatever. Um... Uh, so we need to do the same thing to this side. So... There we go. One, two. I wonder if I should concrete that too. I think I should. Just those added reinforcements on the back here. Maybe it's not needed, but I don't know. Okay. So there's that. Jesus, taking us all day just to make this stupid, like hole here. Now we got to go over and get our gunpowder still too. Uh, I'm kind of at a toss up here. I don't know whether to make 5.59 uh, ammo or 7.62 ammo for the AK. It's either going to be AK or submachine gun. I think we got a lot of SMG ammo. So I don't know if we need that.
right? We do that. We could have put this back out this way, but no big deal. And then this is the roof, which will come out to here. Okay, so the thought then is, this is going to be bars that we can stand on to shoot down. I hope. Might as well make it permanent first, eh? Alright, let's do <laughs> This could be very bad. Uh, maybe we don't even need these guys. Okay, uh, this is going to be the floor. God, thank goodness this thing's drying fast. Alright, and then this goes across here. Do we have enough for this? I think we do. And up here is going to be our kill cage. I should have left that. Ah, shoot. Oh no, because we're going to be down in there when we're shooting down that way. This is just for the sides mostly. Shooting out the sides here at the enemy. Yeah. Now I need to leave a hole for a ladder. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, I'm out of concrete figures. All right, ladders. Okay. All right, let's go back inside. Now, we're going to need to make... I think we can make the iron bars straight out of our uh, thing. But before we do that, I think the gunpowder is probably done. Let's go get that sooner rather than later. We'll just run over there and pick it up. I got a feeling we got another screamer due here very shortly. They've been coming one or two a day now. And I've been letting the spikes do all the work for me. Yeah, it is the trees. Trees are causing the lag. I have to cut them all down and move them then. I'll probably move them all back over there. I think that's probably why most people have their tree farms far enough away from their home. I just have it near my house because I'm, you know, lazy. Okay. 6.30. Oh, sorry, 4.30. I've been trying to get the um, game to render sharper farther. Um, but it's just not working for me. Like, even on maximum settings... I should be able to uh, see everything at a distance here. There it is. 700 more gunpowder. Awesome. Okay, let's make our way back. So now i got to figure out what we're going to do lighting-wise for the base. I could just throw up torches. Somebody asked me if I was going to be putting spotlights up. I apologize. I think it was Anthony Park, was it? I, I gotta, I'm, I'm apologizing. I'm sorry. I'm trying to remember everybody's name, but it's not easy. Uh, I'm actually really, really, really terrible with names too, so I really apologize if I got it wrong. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to try and get some spotlights up. Um, you don't necessarily need, like, I mean, like I said, I've got my gamma turned up to 100%, and it really just so that you guys can see at nighttime, because I don't really go outside at night. I don't wander around at night, so it's not like I'm cheating or anything, right? Um, and I've got I've got my helmet light on. Actually, I can just turn that off. Um, I do have the helmet light, and you know what? I, I hate to say this because it's really embarrassing, and I'm sure everybody already knows this already, but I mentioned I was going to go in here and get that stupid box. Does this respond yet? Nope. And I still haven't done it. Oh, of course. Screw you.
Bet there's nothing in it. Four jars. Hooray. Oh, that's the other thing I gotta remember. I gotta remember to leave a hole to throw Molotovs down. I mean, I don't think we're gonna need them. I really don't. But we're gonna have to leave something to throw Molotovs. So, that's something we'll have to look at. Alright. I haven't worried about these doors yet, because nothing has been able to cross that trench. Okay, so let's go get more rebar. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's start getting some iron bars here. Wow, it's a hundred. Not that I really care, because we got tons, but... So we need four, eight, twelve... Just get 12 to start. And let's get some more rebar frame going. Uh, let's just make it 50. Output's going to take a while, eh? We don't have the fuel in there. How much is it going to take? Three, four minutes? A little over four? I hate wasting resources. Five, that should do it. All right, so let that go for now. Uh, let's get some more concrete, and we'll go back out. Another 100. Yeah, let's leave the four here. Not going to need that. Going to leave the spikes for now. Uh, I think we might just make forged iron spikes out of here. I think we can do that. I was thinking about just making the wood and upgrading them, but why waste resources if we can just make them right out of here? Uh, I don't think we can. I thought you could. I thought you could make forged iron spikes here. Okay, iron spike trap. Yeah, you gotta upgrade. Four forged iron, that's nothing. Ooh, that's awesome. Uh, okay, we'll do that later though. How are we doing here? Well, we don't have enough, eh? <laughs> Burning that out faster than I can use it. All right, let's at least get the five. One more. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Actually, we don't need four. What am I talking about? No, we need six. What am I talking about? Jesus. Here's somebody outside. All right, let's just drop some of this stuff in here. That's our rabbit. I uh, thought we had another. There it is. Um, and let's drop in uh, the leather, gunpowder, paper. Meh. Yeah, definitely looking forward to. Uh, definitely looking forward to that horde night. Okay, that can go there. Clay can go in there. Uh, feathers can go in here. Yeah, as you can see, we don't have feather problems. Uh, fibers in here, right? Right, okay, now we should have enough. There we go. Alright, let's go outside. I really hope they don't destroy these friggin' sp uh, iron bars. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I don't know what I'm gonna do. This actually feels more secure. I can at least go over here and shoot down. Right, if there's somebody not beating on that, we can shoot on them. Um, okay, so iron spikes. I don't know if you can upgrade these to steel spikes or not. So like that. And then... Yes. Right? And then when they come, we can just shoot out through here. If we have to look down, we can. Just stay away from the bars, just fire from back here. Right? Yeah, that's gonna work out, I think. Then this will all be spikes down here, iron spikes. Thinking that's gonna work out. 
Only one way to know for sure. Only one way to know for sure. All right, so let's get... Oops. Good thing these guys aren't permanent. Okay. Look at that, it worked out. No, it didn't. <laughs> Spoke too soon. All right. I think we made some good progress today on this base. It's going to take a couple of more days for sure of building. But we've got a plenty of resources now. So we shouldn't have to go resource gathering. I'm going to cut all these trees down and move them, I think. Maybe next episode we just go chop all them down. we got tons of wood. We don't, I mean, I don't need to leave them out. And then they're going to have spikes along here. All right, I guess we don't. I guess we can just make this concrete across here. Got to make sure we're completely enclosed here because I don't want the uh, vultures coming in to get us. So maybe we go up one more and then we could put a layer of spikes, or not spikes, um, wooden bars across the whole top here. Uh, and that way we can shoot through on the vultures if, they, if, they, if there's any vultures or whatever, spitting vultures and stuff, we can shoot through and get them. But that block's got to go. Definitely has to go. So I'll have to knock that down. Yeah. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Uh, how much concrete do we have here? 830. Let's do a little bit of upgrading out here then. So let's go down here. And because we want to make sure... God, the lag is so bad. I don't know whether it's just the number of blocks in a chunk or what it is. But I'm going to mess around with the settings. It could be the fact that I'm recording too, but I've never had this issue in the past. And we'll go from here, I guess. So this is just regular concrete. We're going to have to hit it again, which is why I've been using the rebar frame. Because you don't have to hit it twice. Okay, where's our block? Let's see if we're even here. Yeah, it's pretty even. Let's go a couple more on each side, I think. So I don't know... Like, I mean, most likely they'll all come from this section if they want to try and get me. Because the Horde Knight should be almost done by that point. And they should all be already spawned. And if they're not, they can kill themselves on the spikes on the outside here. They might not. I don't know if they'll kill themselves out there, but... And then we want to get... At least from here. Let's go from here. Actually, let's go to the whole back wall. Okay, and then let's start under here. So this is going to give us level 2. Oh, come on, just go away. How much concrete do we have left here? Oh, we got lots. So this will all be level 2. And we'll make a kill shelf up there. I mean, I guess we should probably re- like those uh, walkways will upgrade to metal. We don't really need these, but if the zombies beat on them, sure, I'll take it. Just waste their time. out of wood. Uh, how much concrete do we have left? 30. Alright, no big deal. I like things to be even, so we're just going to leave it. Alright, so yeah, let's go back inside. Oh, okay, our plants are up here. I like how this works. It's a lot like Minecraft. Later versions, where you don't have to replant. It's nice to finally have this farm up and running. Uh, mushrooms are done, yep. Oh, that was growing. Crap. My bad. Now, did I pick that? Was that a seed that I picked up? It was. Okay, good. 
Save myself from being even more embarrassed. Okay, let's uh, then do that. That. And that. Because we want to get as many of the resources we can going. Even though if the zombies break in here, they may smash these up. I, I you know, we'll see. All right, nice. I'm hoping to get eight, eight yucca and eight uh, aloe vera, so we can make um, four yucca juice and uh, um, bandages to go along with them. Okay, so let's get the rebar and this out, and let's go back. I don't know if we're going to need all this much rebar right now. We will for the ramp. I'm going to need to make some more rebar ramps. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good, actually. It's definitely going to be thick enough. Wow, the lag is just ridiculous. Um, nope. There we go. Got to be careful here because the stupid lag. It's got to be the trees. Well, it doesn't have to be, but... Okay, I think that's going to work out. See the guys down there? I don't know if we can upgrade those... Like I said, I don't know if we can upgrade those bars to... Uh... Oh my god, the lag. What the hell? Come on. I know I'm bad at this game, but I can't be that bad. Or well, maybe I can. Maybe it's the shadows. I don't know, but it's never affected me in the past, so... Don't know what to say. Hopefully before the next episode I'll have this issue fixed. If it is, if it does end up being the heat, I don't know if there's anything I can do about it. Which is gonna really suck because I have to wait to like fall to be. <laughs> I can't have my AC on when I'm recording, which sucks. I got central air in the house, but it not like it doesn't really get up to the attic. My God, it's so slow. I'd love to be able to say my computer's doing something in the background, but it isn't. It really isn't. Like, I play this game while I'm, like, rendering out or compressing videos for YouTube and have no issues. Except for today, this is, like, so bad. Okay, so I think we go this route. And there is the nightfall. And weirdly enough, I got my frame rate back. So it must be the shadows. It's got to be the shadows. Look at that. It just came back. Guys, game optimization, please. Please, please, please. Because that's just ridiculous. You guys saw my settings. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. Because I don't know what to say. Honestly, I don't. It's a bit ridiculous, but whatever. All right, guys, I'm going to end the episode there. We got our good framework up and running here. Uh, we're going to need 12, uh, 20, 32, and then probably just 8 for here. So 40 more iron bars. So that's another 4,000 iron. God. Which we got. But anyway, I am going to leave the episode there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Um, also, drop, drop a like. It really helps the channel out. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching the series. I'm, I really enjoy playing it. So, yeah. All right. Until next time, we'll see everybody later.